<laughs> We're on the shoot of Rhythm of the Dance at Cromwell's Barracks, and I'm with Kieran Cavanaugh. Talk to me a little bit about traditional Irish dancing. It's, it's so important and rooted in, in, the, in this country, in Ireland. Absolutely, right? and here in Connemara, we're really in the, in the heartland for it because from this area of, in the west of Ireland, uh, there's some fantastic musicians, there's wonderful dancers and, of course, singers. And, and over here, they speak Gaelic, which is the Irish language. And uh, the Irish dance is deep-rooted here because there's many schools, even on this island, there's a dance school that teaches the old form, which is Shano's dance, which we have in the show, which is like a freestyle, where the, the shoulders are rigid in the hands, and they do this freestyle dance, and it's like they're floating. And that's very, very popular in this part of the west of Ireland. And of course, we have the heavy shoe dance, which is that one you hear that click on the stage. That's yeah. the one I like. That's you know, the one, really yeah, like. that's the one everybody <laughs> likes. When you were performing as a child and training for this dancing, you ever think you'd be dancing in front of Clon McNoise back here like this? No, never. <laughs> <laughs> it's been quite an experience, yeah, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Yeah. The one number coming up shortly at Kyle Moore Abbey, New Dawn. Talk to me a little bit about that. Well, um, a New Dawn is slightly different um, for us girls as we get to be very elegant and light on our feet. It's not in like the top shoes, it's in the soft shoes. So we get to use our arms like like butterflies. And butterflies, that's yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. Well, we it is, like, I've seen it, it is very elegant. And yeah, it's kind of like, like furries, and instead of making lots of noise where you don't hear a thing, it's just music and yeah. No, no, no quick taps and no. all of that. <laughs> We've got an interesting dance coming up, the drill. Tell me a little bit about that. It's got no music. Yeah, well, it's, it's a very strong dance. It seems to be one of the dances that comes across uh, more so in Asian countries. When we're in China, uh -huh. uh, it goes down very well. They kind of like the drum, drum rhythms. So uh, yeah, it's all the lads together. Um, no music, as you say, completely a cappella. And uh, it takes a, a lot of time to get a dance like that together and get it to work. I bet it does. How long? It rehearsal time you need uh, for something like that? Uh, rehearsals for that, that, that would take the longest out of all the dances yeah. really. What age did you start training to do all this? You're so fabulous. Um, I was four years old when I started. Four years so, old? Yeah. And, and you're, you're uh, we won't ask how old you are now, but it's been a long time, <laughs> Yes, it? it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite part of dancing? Is it the company or? Um, well, it's just getting to meet so many amazing people. I've had so many amazing opportunities. I've traveled the world. I've, just did things that I never would have um, done if it wasn't for Irish dancing. Yeah, you've so. been everywhere, even China, right? Yeah, yeah. been what's most your, continents. Yeah, what's your favorite country? Um, I'd have to say America. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard her, she said America, and we appreciate that, Nicola. We're looking forward to this last act. Thank you very much. Okay, and then your favorite is the last dance. Uh, Celtic Warriors, yeah. Celtic Warriors, so tell us about that. Uh, I, I just love that. It's, the end of the show, everyone's coming together, uh, whole cast on stage, and you just get to have a bit, bit of fun. And it's just kind of a bouncing back and forth kind of a dance. Yeah, the, like a question and answer between the lead and, the, and, and the, rest the, yeah. the rest of the cast. Well, let's go see them. <laughs> 